Xi Jinping loves soccer. And his dreams of China becoming a star player on the world pitch are clear. Qualify, host and win a World Cup by 2050. That's a big goal for a country with uneven success in the sport despite recent lavish spending. The national men's soccer team is currently 84th in the FIFA World Rankings, behind some much smaller and poorer countries. But Team Dragon might just have its secret weapon. World Cup winning Italian coach Marcello Lippi. Lippi won the World Cup with Italy in 2006. He also coached China's Guangzhou Evergrande Taobao, a top spending team backed by property tycoon Xu Xiaoyan and China's richest man Jack Ma. The team won the Asian Champions League in 2013 and China's Super League title for three straight years under Lippi's tenure. As China's new national coach, Lippi has a hot mandate to shake up China's rigid soccer culture. The Chinese Football Association is notorious for its heavy-handed intervention and parent-style management of soccer affairs. Over the past few years, China's soccer ambitions have translated into big investments. They've bought top clubs in Europe, big players and are training a new generation of young athletes. Evergrande Football School, the brainchild of property tycoon Xu Xiaoyan, is considered the world's largest football academy. The sprawling campus in southern China has a few thousand students, more than 50 pitches and a squad of Spanish coaches through a partnership with Real Madrid. But is China getting close to achieve its football glory dream? Well, it might still take a while. Even under Lippi, China is unlikely to even qualify for the 2018 FIFA World Cup in Russia, let alone win it. Lippi's first game as national coach ended in a nil-nil draw with Qatar Tuesday night, a draw that leaves China with just two points from five games, which means that barring a miracle, China will sit out the next World Cup.